Hello, that's Vladimir. We live in a pretty unfair world. An average price for a good dinner in New York City is about $80. And at the same time, worker in Colombia needs to work for a week to earn the same amount of money and provide a dinner to a person in New York City. I am sure that using all of the power of blockchain technology, it's possible to solve this issue of uh, unfair distribution. I'm going to do it using DeFi, DAO governance and NFT tokens mechanics. And in this video I will demonstrate a product that will partly solve this challenge. The main tool I will be using for this implementation is Suku Network. Suku is a solution for supply chains. It allows uh, tracking product journey from the beginning, from the farmer in Latin America to the end, to the end user. All the information is stored on blockchain, so you will be always able to track uh, the journey and see what was in the beginning, where is this coffee came from. Uh, in addition, I will use a Neutrino stablecoin as a strong DeFi tool because it allows to earn an annual income 10% annually just for staking. These two tools will help me to create a unique functionality, a tool for tipping. If you are sitting in a restaurant and enjoyed your coffee, you can leave tips for a farmer who has grown this coffee in Latin America. This is possible using blockchain and DeFi. And let me show it to you. Here is a demo of Supply Tips, that's the name of the product. A very simple interface, but with a strong message. Send your tips to someone who really deserves it, but has never received a tips because works in the beginning of supply chain, not in the restaurant. So you cannot give him just cash. Uh, using supply chain, you can find these members uh, using blockchain. So let me show it to you. First of all, you need to input the code of an item, for example, of coffee. You like the coffee, you put its number into this input block. Uh, I will use test one. After that, uh, you will see the information about this item. This data is taken from uh, Suku chain, from supply chain. Uh, and here we see the name of the item and uh, date when it was created, when it was grown. When my coffee was grown, Oh, it's yesterday. It's fine, okay. <clears throat> After you have found uh, your item in database, you can, okay, yes, that's my coffee. I will uh, pay tips for it. And you put a button, for example, $2, $2. And using Waves Exchange provider and Waves Signer, you can send uh, your tokens to a smart contract. Uh, here you can see that I just confirmed the transaction from the sender's account and some money appear in the right part. This is a wallet of supply chain member of a person in Latin America. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, it's grown. Uh, why not uh, all two dollars went to this guy? Because these two dollars were split between all the members of supply chain. I will show it to you in uh, Waste Explorer we can find more details and we see that uh, the payment was split at 3 to 3 to 3 to 3 different uh, supply chain members. Why is this proportion? Because of DAO. DAO members, working group, can vote on changing the proportion. Something like this. Someone else, someone new can vote using governance tokens to change the proportion to different one. And when someone else will send tips, it will be split into different proportions. Talking about DAO, there will be different roles in this DAO. Uh, we can include government into it or some uh, enthusiasts because it's very important to uh, leave this uh, sustainable proportion.